Thank you all for coming to our fourth event of the year. New faces, new speakers, new perspectives. We really appreciate all your support throughout these years. We are now at our fourth year. We've had so far around 20 different speakers from all walks of life. We're really trying to bring in different perspectives to the debate. We are a platform here for all of you to use to the maximum to give your opinion. Nothing we do or we write or we talk about is censored. We don't need more censorship in this country. We're not a political organization. We're here to create solutions. The problem in this country today, as I've been saying all along, is that there aren't enough people working on solutions. Lots of bickering, lots of bipartisanship, lots of different things, but we need solutions. Not just to the economic cause, economic, political, social, everything. I'd like to thank all the board members who keep sponsoring those events. All of you, bring in more members. Talk more about it. We are your platform. Use it to the maximum. Our speaker tonight is going to be Maury Davis. Is an icon on Wall Street. And I'm not trying to aggrandize the term or anything like that. He's truly an icon on Wall Street. He's chairman and CEO of D.H. Blair. Over his career, he funded, backed, built over 400 companies, mostly entrepreneurs, raising over $3 billion for those companies very active on the financial scene, the political scene also. He wrote a couple of books. After I met Mori, I realized how many important things this person can share with you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mori Davis. I love that guy. He's really sensational. I met him just a short time ago, and I've never been more impressed with a guy that's so di dynamic. So, Ziad, it's a pleasure to be here with you and Harry, and all your board members, and thank you all. I'm here to talk about entrepreneurism and why I think it's the secret to making the world a better place. I'm Morty Davis, chairman of the board of D.H. Blair. For the past 50 years, I've been funding up-and-coming superstar young entrepreneurs. I hope they're superstars. When I fund them, I think they're superstars. Sometimes <laughs> they don't turn out to be such superstars. I've raised $3 billion for over 400 of these companies in every exciting sector of the economy. I've raised money for promising companies that produced cures for cancer, not total cures yet, but cures for cancer. I funded Jonas Salk, a Nobel Prize winner that produced the polio vaccine. I funded a fellow named Robert Silliman, who's the owner of American Idol and the brands of Elvis Presley and Muhammad Ali. I fund companies that put satellites into space and that developed really innovative online education programs. And one that you were familiar with possibly now because I brought the product itself, it's a company that produces pictures on chocolate that are edible. So you can actually eat your girlfriend or your... Uh, your... <laughs> what is entrepreneurism? Entrepreneurism is all about creating new businesses, new ideas, new products, all the things that really change the world and improve our lives. It's inventing things that no one believes is possible. We're at the verge of having some of the most wonderful, exciting things that you can think of. Thankfully, the U.S., we've been at the forefront of entrepreneurism. We've been an entrepreneurial society. And that largely accounts for the fact that we're the leaders in the world economically and in so many other areas because of our innovativeness, our creativeness, our young people, our, the kind of entrepreneurs. I have been fortunate to meet and un fund and underwrite. There are three young men sitting in the center of this room that Ziad introduced me to that are the very epitome of the kind of young men that I funded and, and uh, like to bet on. Brandyourself.com. Brand yourself. So any, anybody who wants to have their reputation enhanced that has a little trouble with their reputation, Speak to that young gentleman there. He'll straighten you out. He'll make you look like uh, Obama. Or is that the wrong one? <laughs> Hopefully, whoever your hero is. <laughs> Historically, the pace of entrepreneurism has been really slow. Then in the 19th century, we had the good fortune to have some real milestone inventions come forth, the steam engine and the cotton gin. It was the mouthless theory years ago. At the beginning of the 20th century, Edison invented electricity. Wow, 
That was a world changer. That made everything that we depend on today. At the same time, Ford developed the horseless carriage. Overwhelmingly, new innovations come from young people, the kind of young people that just stood up. Old people suffer from rigidity. It's called the gestalt. In other words, we, we, since we were born, since I was born, I see a thing a certain way. They say you can take a picture with that film in a camera. I say, you're out of your mind. You can't, you can't do it. Young people don't know it can't be done, and they go ahead and do it. So that's the greatness of young people. They, they, they're not bothered by the impediments that it's never been done or that it can't be done. Even geniuses get it wrong. So why is entrepreneurism important? The number one reason for every single one of us is what changes our lives, it makes our lives much better, much fuller, much more enjoyable. So far it's provided us with cures for diseases that killed millions in the past, like smallpox, tuberculosis, killed and maimed millions. All advancement is based on prior knowledge. Edison didn't invent the electric bulb in the year 1100 because there wasn't enough prior knowledge. So it's built on prior knowledge. As a result, today we're going to accelerate. We have more inventions now and more quantum jumps in lifestyle in 10 years than we used to have in 100 years or 1,000 years. And of course, finally, some men claim the most important invention of all time, Viagra. <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Hopefully, imminently, we'll have total cures for diseases like cancer and heart disease and diabetes and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and all the things that kill each of us and all the members of our family. The importance of entrepreneurism is that 80% of all new jobs are created by companies that have been in business for less than five years. So what makes a good entrepreneur? I bet on the jockey, not the horse. There are four things I look for in a jockey. He's got to be smart, obviously. He's got to be adaptive. They've got to be neurotic. What do I mean neurotic? They've got to be compulsive, driven, want to succeed, work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He's got to be finally decisive. For you all, I hope you all make a killing on Wall Street, but of millions and tens of millions of dollars, and you are certainly successful. Thank you so much. I love you all. We have an event on September 5, and we're going to have an event on November 18. Speaker to be determined yet, but it's going to be a pretty high-profile figure too.